Um, obviously, I've got involved in campaigns. Haven't we all been involved in post office campaigns in the UK recently? And a, a campaign website there that we set up as well, so that my, um, my blog related to the campaign website that the local party had set up, and then I did a report back when we knew the outcome recently of the decisions about the post offices. Just a little bit more about one campaign I got involved in, how I use lots of different um, media for it. First of all, I set up a um, petition on the council e-petitions space uh, about back garden development, a particular issue in my ward where we have largely 1930s semi-detached houses, small ones, and um, quite small gardens, but there's been a lot of developers trying to buy them up and add uh, extra um, housing in. It's a big, thorny issue in my area. So I set up a petition, online petition. Um, I blogged about it, relating, directing people towards that petition. I then put out a local, one of our local political leaflets. And at the bottom, you can see there's a paper version of the petition. Very important to have both paper and online versions of something so that it's not excluding people. So that went to every house in not just my ward, but the two neighbouring wards. Um, I put it on the local borough party uh, website, again, with a link across to the... Uh, petition on the council website. I then gave a series of updates on my blog. Um, and, and in fact, we've made some very interesting progress and some changes, and it has in fact changed the council policy around this, which um, we're still working through that, but um, that's been, has been a very effective campaign. And it's uh, going to be discussed at council very soon. Now, another advantage of uh, blogs, which I'm sure you'll be picking up later on, is the way the media pick it up. Um, I had an example this Monday, which I'm not able to reflect in my presentation, where I'd been given some information um, and was asked, can I put that on my blog? Is it public? I was told yes. I put it on my blog. The press immediately picked up on it, got back to the organisation, and there was a flurry because the person who told me apparently shouldn't have told me. <laughs> so I had to do a quick uh, backtrack. But the press read my blog, not just weekly, almost daily, and they pick up items directly from my blog. So this item, which is about the database that will be behind ID cards, that is a directly lifted... And, of course, they've used my words. It hasn't been mediated through a conversation on the phone. Um, they lifted my words from my blog and pop, made a news item out of that, so that was very useful. Right, <laughs> just very quickly to end, looking at young people, because this is a, an, a, an area of our electorate that we all want to engage with, don't we? And we find difficult to engage, but of course they're high users of the tools we're talking about. And I had to start with Norfolk Blurb, which, as we all know, is one of the best youth... Uh, websites in, in the country. Um, but I particularly picked out something from last year which was about the UK Youth Parliament. Let's get young people voting. It doesn't matter in a way what you're voting for, and I'm interested in that um, display there. Yes, let's vote for all sorts of things. Get them into the habit of voting. Alongside that, um, mock elections... Um, which is uh, Hansard Society and Electoral Commission, getting people to run local elections in line with the real ones. And um, I'm a councillor, get me out of here. I'm sure Shane will be happy to tell you more about that. Um, also getting into schools and talking and tying in with citizenship events. Um, I was mayor a year ago, and I went to visit a school council in a primary school. And very simple use of email that's going to follow from this. I um, had a nice letter from the members of the school council. I prompted them to ask me about some things they thought could be done to improve the area. 
They, emailed, they went away and thought about it, discussed it with their classes, came back to me with some excellent ideas. Um, I then passed those on to our neighbourhood services manager, who then got in touch with them. I passed some on to the local Safer Neighbourhoods Police team, who went in and spoke to them. And we've, as a result, we've spent some money on some things that they wanted done very useful feedback to them that their voice was heard and did make a change. And just a quick look at some other useful things you might like to follow up. This is Hansard Society's um, discussion forums around topical issues. They're very well managed through schools and school citizenship classes. Uh, oh, do, do have a look. I know it's down in London. Some great games, actually, on the BBC site around... Uh, e-democracy um, and the, the dem games which um, i'm sure you want to see aimed at a slightly younger age group maybe 12 13 year olds which are great fun and just to draw your attention to icely where i'm currently the vice chair that's our website a little bit of information about us as an organization funded by government in order to promote good practice around e-democracy. And if you go to the website, there's a huge compendium of tools and ideas and reports and analyses that anybody can draw on, and you're welcome to take those and use them, not just in the UK, but across any other countries who would find this material useful. Button problem. A booklet um, which summarises quite a number of the things I've said today. We have copies of these. Do we have... Yep, we have a copy here. Thank you, Jan, for everybody to collect. So would you please collect your copy of that? More detail about a number of the things that I've been talking to today and some other things as well. Thank you very much.